Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. On this channel you will find a number of tutorials explaining how to install and run AI models locally. Namely, anyone who wants to seriously learn machine learning, large language models and AI has to learn how to run large language models as well as other AI models locally and in the later stage he or she needs to learn how to develop models. I have created two video tutorials on how to install and run the newest DeepSeek Janus Pro multi-model model. This model is multifunctional and can be used for two purposes. The first purpose is visual language understanding, namely a person gives an image to the model and the model needs to understand the image. And the second application is the generation of images from text. My experience is that Janus Pro is an excellent tool for visual language understanding. It performs really good. A link to the tutorial explaining the visual language understanding and how to use Janus Pro for visual language understanding is given in the description below. However, the impression I have is that this model is not as good for image generation from text. In fact, my impression is that the model performance is much worse than the performance of the state-of-the-art models for generating images from text such as Black Forest Labs, Flux1 Dev and Flux1 Schnell models as well as stable diffusion models. In this tutorial I will briefly demonstrate the performance of Janus Pro on several examples. There is a tutorial explaining how to install this model for image generation and the link will be given in the description below. To summarize, DeepSeek did remarkable work in generating a model that can understand images. However, the reverse process is not as good as visual understanding process. I understand they are just trying to get into the game to develop the model to start developing and probably in the second iteration the model will be much better. Let's briefly demonstrate the performance of this model for image generation from text. Over here you can see the Python code that generates the image. And here is the text prompt. Note over here that I'm using Janus Pro 7B, that is the largest model. Okay, so here is a hello world of text to image generation. I wrote this, a cat holding a sign saying hello world. Now the images will be actually generated in this folder. So if I run this model in real time, you will see what happens. Note that I'm running this model on my NVIDIA GPU, which has the following specification, it's NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24GB of VRAM, I'm having a computer with 64GB of RAM, an Intel i9 processor, and you can see in real time image generation. So let's see what happens. Now, if you have Confi UI or Flux1 Dev or Flux1 Schnell on your computer, run the same example and you will see the difference. So let's see what happens. But you can immediately see that there are some issues with images. So here are the images. First of all, look how this image looks like. First of all, there is an issue that things are not written clearly. However, this is the first image, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. Very bad, very bad. This is really maybe like in the rank of stable diffusion like three or four years ago. So this is not good. Okay, so let's try another example. Maybe there is something wrong. So let's try this example. Ancient Greek warrior with a shield and a sword. So let me now close all these windows and let me click here, go here and paste it over here. So let's see what happens. Let's now save this and run and let's see what happens. Now wait again, this should be relatively quick. So let's see what's happening. Okay, now you will see that this image is even worse. I remember that I gave the same example to Confi UI and Flux1, I think it was even Schnell model, that is the smaller model, and the results were excellent. 
However, you will see how crappy are the results. So here they are. You can see several issues in this image. You can see how, first of all, the eyes are not clear. You can see some artifacts. You can see that hand is missing. A lot of things are missing in this model. In fact, this to me looks like that these figures are generated from Flux1 Dev or something similar. Maybe this might even look heavily quantized Flux1 Dev. And in fact, this is basically at the rank of stable diffusion a few years ago. Okay, so my intention of this video is not to criticize DeepSeq. I noticed that DeepSeq produced an excellent large language model such as R1, V3, as well as Janus Pro, however, for visual language understanding. However, this model is not performing well for text-to-image generation. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe my computer is weak. Maybe I cannot run in this in full resolution, but this is what I get. Okay, that's all for me for now, and see you in the next video tutorial.